Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Phoenix Rising. So, last episode, fended off an attack at Yogdul again. And this episode, we're going to hit Waylon. Quick reminder that this is, in fact, uh, something I've already done because I'm having to re record couple of episodes here, so I know more or less how this will go, although something I noticed just now is that we have one of these things built over here. We haven't used one yet. Kinda, kinda want to see how it works. So, I feel like maybe we pull the mankas out? Maybe, well, Maybe a couple of mankas. This is six, it says, in Galactic. This is three. So theoretically, this should be worth two of them, right? Sure. Probably. Coordinate probably not. Large active. But yeah, other than that, it should be pretty much identical to the first time I did this. Um, I am curious what that Mon Calamari cruiser was. Is that this? That was this. Okay, so where the queue is empty. Um... Um... I feel like we should probably get something, get some more things going. Uh, hmm, well, let's get this fleet headed to Wayland. And we might yeah. have time to... Tactical battle imminent. Uh, not even. Okay, well... I'll get the queen down there and we'll see what we can get. Enemy forces ahead. I'm thinking actually the Republic class Star Destroyer would probably be a good thing to have down there. Good bit of firepower. I don't feel like we're really missing in tank down there on Genosis. I don't know. I have to look through the fleet more properly and see. Um, yes. So for some reason, the marker for this planet is ha has us pointed in the wrong direction. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about. Moving ahead. Frigate reporting. Now, what we did the first time we were here, or the first time I did this, is just kind of slowly creep forward and kind of bait them out. And I'm going to try not to deviate too far from that. Okay, now, I said this was identical to the first time I did this. We had a quasar when I did this the first time. And now I think about it, I'm pretty sure I put a quasar into this fleet, didn't I? We don't have reinforcements. How did I miss the quasar? Is it is it one of those times where the game was just being laggy and I I clicked to pull it over and it just didn't Ready for and I didn't notice? Ready for action. Because I'm quite certain I meant to 
bring a Quasar. Because I remember doing that the first time. That's... Huh. Okay, well... Guess we don't have a Quasar. Not, not the biggest deal, but that's still slightly annoying. So, how do these things compare to these things? Ooh, the Manka is longer ranged by a good bit. Ninety six hundred has significantly more firepower. It's not quite double, though. Oh, interesting. The increase in sturdiness is not as significant as you would think. It's got a bit more shields and a bit more hull. It's about half the speed, less maneuverable. Hmm, it does have two fighter squadrons. It's worth mentioning. But honestly, I'm kind of feeling like the Mankas are superior. Bring it en route. Interestingly enough. Your orders? Bring it reporting. They're falling back. Right. Mm. Reporting in. I copy. Gravity okay. well oh, generated. No thanks. Line. None of that. Not today. Okay, now, problem with going through here is this right here kind of mucks things up a little bit. Right away. I'm going to try to scoot right around away. in the same way I did the first time. I suppose it, I, there's not really, like, I don't need to completely recreate the battle, do I? That would be a little bit ridiculous. Mostly, I just want to recreate the outcome. Awaiting orders. Which, now I think about it, I don't quite remember exactly. So that's, that's good. How close do we have to be before they turn around? A bit closer than this. Go that way. Nee. I copy. Assault brigadier. Roger that. Roger that. Loosen up. You know, it's not actually that much bigger than the Mancas than I thought it was. Like, hold on. What's the volume on these things? 3.29 Ready. I'm not sure I buy that. Just looking at it, it's not it's flat. Um More than twice as massive? I don't... Huh. 
Uh, I'm not sure. That doesn't really look correct to me. It's looking to me like they have a similar fire rate. So there's no... One thing I was thinking that that would recommend these would be the uh, Roger that. an increase in fire rate, but it's looking like that's not the case. Hmm. Charge. I would appreciate it if you could turn this way so more of your cannons that are faced the face facing facing that way. Form up. I'm on it. Where is Iblis? You guys just kind of cruising over here. Um What is with the weird lag spikes? start directing fire a little bit more strategically rather than just letting everybody shoot at what they want. Because you guys... Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm almost immediately preferring the Manka simply because of that... What is, is it a full thousand meters? It's not quite a thousand, it's eight hundred. But still, 800 meter range increase, that's, you know, that's not insignificant. Copy. I copy. Standing by. And given the fact that we're not using them as some kind of frontline unit to tank stuff, I think the range advantage is definitely definitely something we want to take advantage of. Also, I will point out the same thing I pointed out the first time I did this. Munificents are kind of funky. They have crazy absurd range with that turbo laser and the turbo ion. And um you know, they've got some interesting abilities. The point defense, the, uh, the, the, the interference thing that has a name that I don't remember. Uh, does it use this? Sensor jamming. Yeah, both of those on one ship. Plus they're, I mean, they're not super sturdy, but for, for their size and how much they how much pop cap they take up they're not completely made of paper you know I mean gladiator mark four sim uh, more health considerably and that range so yeah um I really want to get up to munificent and see about getting some of those to to integrate into our fleets because if you look 13 7 15 it fits right in this sort of range it's bigger bigger than the cc 9600 it's sturdier 
doesn't have the powered shield, so there's there's you know that. But it also has the the both sensor jamming and point defense. That's that's really significant. And then it's got a pretty decent mid-size battery with the the more the larger number of turbo lasers. The, the 96 damage ones. That's not terrible. Very least, I like I would like to experiment with using their significant range as like a um, artillery platform further back in the battle. You know, because we've got these lines of MC type stuff with the heavy tank, which is great. I think having something with artillery-like range would be really helpful. Of course, we do have the uh, the recusants that we could upgrade. They've got they've got good range. Hmm. We've also got the the Republic class Star Destroyers, which are, you know, not nothing. No, no, just you don't need to move. No, no, stop. How are you all doing? How is our interdictor doing? Where is our interdictor? There you are. Yeah, you're fine. Mm. Can I persuade you to get into that field? It's not an asteroid field. What is this called? It's like a debris field or something. I don't know what else you would call it, so it's probably something like debris field. You're a little, a little too close to that fire out there. Who fired that? That was a lot of damage. Was that the Star Destroyer? It sure was. 8,000 meters. Some of those are turbo ions. Really? Oh, they sure are. Two dual turrets. Interesting. This Star Destroyer doesn't have any octuples. Modified Imperial 1 class. I wonder if it's actually substandard or if it's just um configured differently maybe with some more smaller caliber stuff i have no idea I copy. that's um keeping track of of what what the armament of stuff is is <laughs> like that's not something i can do all those all those numbers of all those different weapons and Types and things. No, no, I have no idea. I've seen the card for the Star Destroyers a zillion times, and I have no idea. Hmm. You know that thing I said where they, where I want to use these things to sit back and and shell stuff like artillery yeah they're, they're doing that 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 exact thing I think it's time for the bombers to head in 
I also think it's time for you to get in a little closer. Uh, come on. Nope. 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 Go into the field. Yeah, that'll work. I don't know why her shields are so low. Turn around here a little bit. Except you, you can you can just stay put. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why you guys need to be that close. This seems a little closer than maybe is healthy. Hmm. I guess it probably doesn't matter as long as he's actually firing at stuff. Are you gonna give me issues? No, you won't. Shocking. You keep in front. I'm not going to give orders to until you actually get through there. Because... Well, I will almost certainly mess up the line that he's actually on. Hmm. Stay in attack formation. Hold on. Swinging around. Now that's interesting. Munificents are actually sturdier than the recusants in terms of just health. The shielding isn't, but. Weapons Making another pass. Hmm. Should we go around for another pass? Swinging around. Tightening up. Stay in attack formation. We're in attack range. That is interesting. One thing the Rekusons have that the other, that the Munificents don't, is rather, rather powerful anti-fighter. I think maybe we should um, do something about that. Where are the missiles coming from? Is that these guys? Yeah. I'll try and draw their fire. Six. Decrease to full throttle. Oh no, it's you. Engaging the enemy. Well, those missiles are at least. I'm in range. I've got him disabled. Got one. Awaiting orders. I wonder how much easier the CC-9600 is to hit than the Manka. So now I think about it, if their volume is that much larger, they might be considerably easier to hit, so they might actually not be a very good choice for most, most uses that we would have them for. 
Or well, 124 at least. Hmm, that's something to consider. Not that that's something I can easily test, but if they... If we use them side by side and it seems like the Mankas are staying alive much longer, then that might be a significant contributing factor. Pull forward, will ya? We've got enough anti-fighter around here that the main ships aren't going to be threatened realistically, but bombers might be. Well, probably will be. And I'd rather not lose the bombers. Though I suppose we don't really have that many to worry about. Still. Um, did they only have the one invincible? I seem to remember more than that, but I might be thinking of Kala. Yes, sir. This is their last ship. Yes, Actual ship. And it is not going to be sticking around for very long. But directly after them losing all of their actual ships is when... The really long part of this battle starts, where we are going to have to destroy all of these fighters. Because the majority of these things are actual units. And if there's one thing we really don't need, it is more sh ships adding to Dreria once we get over there. Okay, you guys just charge straight through everything and fire as you go. That's a lot of war pods.
They are trying to bomb our Corvettes. I say trying. They are bombing our Corvettes. And of all the ships we have here, those are most likely to potentially be threatened by them. I still not get in there? Oh no, they got it. Yeah, the bombers didn't do too good this battle. Not surprising, considering, you know, just how much red there is on the map. Let's take a look at this view. Yeah! That's a lot of red blips that are all fighters. Well, I suppose the war pods aren't, but you know. Uh, well, I say that. They are probably decent enough fighters, right? Hold on. They have, they have okay lasers. I suppose they're not great, but they'd be fine for intercepting bombers. I'm thinking... There are too many fighters on this map, and this is kind of ridiculous. Can we speed it up? Ooh, I mean, technically yes, but how about no? And there's still a bunch of them out, out in this direction. You, come this way. Since they're attacking that thing anyway, and you've got lots of anti-fighter. Reporting. We're on the move. Yes, sir. I've got my approach vector. Weapons charged. Keep going. Weapons operational. I suppose now is probably a good time to do that. If ever there was a time to tell your fighters to just seek and destroy, surely it's when they are absolutely surrounded by targets to fire out and seek and destroy. Well, this is a nifty little clump of bombers. Where are you all going? Ready for command, sir. That's got em. Try to intercept those. In Moving into position. Vector set. She's firing like crazy. Getting some of them. Okay, you guys have cleared out way, most of the local enemies. Oh, you have that too. Do that. You do have. Yeah, you have lasers. They're not great though. Was that 20 damage? How, how good are these guys? 
30 damage. Yeah. I, copy. Stay in attack I suppose it is just an old dreadnought. I'm in range. Weapons are. Right away. I copy. Decrease to full throttle. I'm in range. He's about to be destroyed. Hey, Java doesn't like waiting either. Stay in attack formation. We can do that. Yes, Commander. Awaiting orders. Moving out. Stay in Ready. Formation. Mon Calamari crew right here. Standing by. Right away. Two, full Corvette moving out. Watch your Reporting. Six. Heading Stay out. Stay in attack formation. On our way. Decrease to full throttle. Assault frigate here. Heading out. That's it. Scratch one. Standing by. Hold on. I'm in range. Decrease to full throttle. Fall out. I'm in range. Decrease to full throttle. Watch your six. Mon Calamari crews are ready. Stay in attack formation. Yes, sir. Heading out. Locking Line target. Contact. Fall Got out. One. I'm in range. A Wing Squadron reporting. Stay in attack formation. Seems like the uh, the really fast stuff is quite quite good at using that seek and destroy ability because one of the problems with it, at least in my experience, is when you use the ability. There, there's what ends up happening is a lot of your fighters end up just kind of farting around off in the tule somewhere rather than actually fighting something because they're just kind of flying around until they run into something that's in range and then they go after that so the really fast stuff doesn't have that problem as much because they can you know fly off into the tulies and then fly out somewhere where there's actual enemies really quickly So it's not as much of an issue. They don't have, they don't end up spending, you know, large, large amounts of time just farting around doing nothing. Seems like. Heading to now this here, interesting little, little thing that's happening. Um... From what I understand, when when retreating, ships go at their own hyperdrive speed. So this would suggest there are different ships with different classes of hyperdrive. And when this happened the first time, I was thinking, oh dear, we, we stuff has gotten away that isn't just the transports. But then I checked ours, and if you look... We have different hyperdrive classes for the different types of transports. Class 4, Class 1, Class 2, and that seems pretty consistent with what we're seeing over here. Which would be Class 1, Class 2, Class 4-ish. So I'm pretty sure those are just transports getting away. I did, didn't, didn't end up confirming that when I did this the first time because um, I ended up ending the episode before they got over there. But 
seems like that's that's what we're looking at here. Now, what was that? Oh, that was you. Cool. Oh, took back smugglers run. That's likely to go back and forth. Well, basically forever until they finally like push all the way through. Oh, that was the battleship going through Ryloth. Is that headed back? I don't know. Oh, before before we do the battle on Wayland Ground, let's get the Queen. Down to Geonosis, and I am going to pull this group. No, it's it's there. You, 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 you. These guys can pull back to here. Setting course. That way they're not gumming up the works in the um pop cap department. That's interesting. Where did they get that? Destroyer. I don't know what kind of shipyards they have here, but I didn't think it was destroyer level. Well, I say that. Um, are these destroyers? These are cruisers, but cruisers and destroyers are on the same shipyard, aren't they? No. No, it's destroyer and capital, so, um... Yeah, where did they get that? I don't think they have that level of shipbuilding over here. I don't think. Upgrade complete. Ooh, upgrade complete. Well, first things first. What do we get here? Yeah, I think the Republic class is going to be a good option. Unit in production. At least one. I mean, this thing has, uh, the, frankly, an absurd amount of firepower, and it is quite tanky. But it can't do everything. And one thing it really can't do is fire in every direction at once, effectively. I mean, you, it, you, you can do that if you just let it fire, but... The problem is, this mod hasn't done anything to prevent high caliber weaponry from firing at this sort of stuff, you know? So they'll, they'll use their, this thing will just use its turbolasers to fire at random fighters, so it's really less effective to try and use it that way than it is to to target fire. These guys quite good. They're not as tanky as they could be though. I'm thinking maybe we get one of these to to have a like shield in front of everything else. Like alongside this cuz these things are more like uh, second line units, maybe even further back than that. They're they're not front line type things. These things aren't either. Maybe we get those in the other order. In case anybody gets any funny ideas, I think I'd rather have the MC ninety than the. Rep 
public class. Although, speaking of MC90, would you look at that? Mon Calamari Cruiser here. Hey, I think that is something we're going to help. Upgrade. We're going to use to help on. Um, oh, come on. Um planet over there, what is it called? Dreria. Now, that was another upgrade complete. What... What were those? Well, the K-Wing is about done. But one of them was Alderaan. I don't remember what Alderaan was doing. Oh, it was probably this. Okay, what was the other one? Uh, was that Biss? Did we still have something going on Biss? Um... Maybe? I thought we hadn't, though. But there's nothing... Nothing else, unless I'm forgetting somewhere. This was... Wait, this was doing something. Maybe it was cool. Okay, well... Get somebody down there and get some more stuff going. In the meantime, um, oh, don't, don't actually pull back. We need orbital support. Forgot about that. Okay, now. Oh, yes. Now I'm remembering what's here. Spider droids. All of the spider droids. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. Choose your reinforcements. Um We've located the enemy. We don't have any armor to start off with. That's oh nope, I take it back, Candrus. Candrus unit on point now. We don't have any transports. Proceeding. Easier than the Kessel Road. Um, I need to get rid of the, uh... Very well. These lame MPPLs. And, uh, probably these two, I guess. Sit them on some, some planet to defend somewhere. Oh, I did not realize that was a cla crashed lambda the first time. Interesting. How did I miss that? Unit destroyed. Give me a target. You guys are gonna come this way and try to escort the Wookiees. Because we're going to try and go around. Did, uh, hello?
go, go, go. No, no, no. Oh, oh I forgot they had these stupid things too. No. Uh. Oh, and the Candorises are really not good at them, at at fighting the SD Hulks because they they very inaccurate against them. Um. Okay. Uh. That's 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 suboptimal. Come along over here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try something. Oh gosh, they're everywhere. No, no. Ah, uh, what did we use? Ease. Is this everybody? I feel like we're missing someone. Receiving your transmission. Hmm. How can I help? Hmm. Guess not. None of that. What do I get to blow up? Um. Where there? Destroyed. I'm at your disposal. How can Let's I serve keep the guys a group. Um, if you can target that. Well, What's that was a waste. Target confirmed. Received. Going to go there, and then we're going to get some artillery, and that was definitely AA. Where is it? Oh, it's right there, guys. No, the stupid. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, ja, 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 ja. Maximum unit capacity. Yeah. Awaiting orders. We've secured a build pad. These, um, these. Unit destroyed. That was that was last of Candorus's. Reporting. Bookies, go blow up the droids. Um, Engines primed. you're Check coming around over here. We lost a build pad. Entering battlefield. Almost there. Reporting. You. Moving into that area, sir. Standing by. Hmm. There's no random A. There, there sure is. Bombardment commencing. Yeah, maybe this was the better target. Yes, sir. Woogies, go, 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 go. Ready. Uh, just, no, not that. Oh, shoot. Okay, well. Go, bombers, go. I would like to take advantage of the fact that those things are stunned over there. But there is that problem. Everything is stunned. Um. Ready to go. Okay, just go We're blow that in. up. I copy. Um. Oh, that Torpedo actually got destroyed. I copy. Everybody but the artillery. Heading to destination. Oh, I should have made these guys a group. Commander, ready, sir. Ready for orders. Ground targets locked. We've secured a build pad. Yeah, they're not superb at that, but they're not horrible, I guess. Copy that. Yes, 
No, oh, gee, wasn't that useful. Reporting. We've lost a build pad. Ordered, sir. Targeting pad. systems active. Target in sight. Targeting enemy. That thing was stunned. Command received. Do we have some capability to stun stuff? I don't think so. Interesting. What are your orders? Charge. Roger that. Fire. Or don't. The enemy has been defeated. Okay. Well. They're falling back. Could have been a cool shot, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Just about the same outcome, I think, although we might have lost something else the first time. Um System conquered. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, you there. You there. Everybody else up here. And that is that. We're going to pop over here. Heading to destination. Swap this out for that. Slightly more pop cap in in out here, but but it's pro I, we still had a bit of room. I think shouldn't shouldn't uh, edge anything out of being on the field. Proceeding to location. But that is going to do it. We have building started. We have Wayland. Beginning construction. Next stop, Dreria. Get rid of that bunch. This is they don't have as many free fly free floating, free flying fighters. Uh but those 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 have got a lot of transport groups. And um, I, I'm I'm pretty sure they launch Mark IV stuff. I'm I'm pretty sure the citadels that that they launch are Mark IV, so that's gonna be nasty, certainly for our fighters. Um, we'll probably keep our fighters back further, use them defensively rather than offensively, because. That many citadels, plus the other anti-fighter they've got there. Yeah, that's going to be nasty. But that's also going to have to wait till next episode. Ooh. All right, come on. Let's get Upgrade that. Sure, why not? Um, you know what? Upgrade in progress. Okay, queue that up. Um, I'd like to get some more ships, but maybe we hold off. Because I think there are a few things that are about to be upgraded. Well, I say about. I guess they're being upgraded, but, um, yeah, I don't know. We might, we might wait and we might not. I suppose there's not really any strong need for new forces at the moment, so maybe we will wait. But in terms of what we're getting here at Alderaan, I think actually the Sashin is Research next. Complete. 
Oh, that was almost certainly the K-Wing. Researching. Right. Yep. Cool. Get some of those built at some point soon. Um, I do I do want to kind of like throw together a large force of K wings. Underway. You know, like twenty squadrons or so. And use that. as a bomber fleet instead of B-Wings because I'm increasingly suspecting that the B-Wings are uh, something is wrong with them and they're laggier than they should be mm. of course I suppose that wouldn't necessarily be conclusive evidence because it's entirely possible that the uh, Building under construction. The K-Wing is also laggier than it should be, so... I don't know, but if... If it's less laggy, that would be really nice. Because currently I kind of don't want to use this fleet, simply because it is just so laggy. I don't know. We'll have to see. But yes, that is going to do it. Oh, good grief. Oh, and they're starting to get these things. Prey birds. Upgraded and building more of them. Hmm, interesting. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Take care. And farewell.